magic is a sense of feeling. So right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually do a trick for you guys watching through the screen. You will all be a part of it. You will all experience it. And uh, all it's gonna involve is just these five cards. So San Juan, can you look at a card right now? You're gonna look at one, anyone you want. You got one in mind? Yes. And for everybody at home, I want you to look at one. Got it? Great. Think right now of your card. Imagine it. Imagine if I was to take out the card and pluck it out of the air. With that, before we do it, someone, has your card disappeared? Yeah. Has your card disappeared? Okay. What a great way to start off the night. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the magic of Krista Ray. My name is Josh Ujita. And I'm Jabril Diabet. We are Krista Ray alums from the class of 2014, and we are your hosts for the evening. We are coming to you live from the Susan Baddox Art Complex at Krista Ray New York High School, the home of our drama club and mm -hmm. choir. We are so glad you could join us from all over the country to celebrate the magic of Cristo Rey. While we can't gather in person this year, we thought we could bring some of the magic to you at home. That card trick was pretty cool, right? That was Kevin Nicholas. You might recognize him from past Cristo Rey events. He'll be doing some more magic tricks alongside Cristo Rey Senior San Juan throughout tonight's program. Over the next 30 minutes, you'll hear from members of the Krista Ray community about what the magic is all about. Krista Ray is not your average high school. Josh and I can attest to that. It's a school that challenges its students, opens doors to them, and helps them realize their potential. What makes Krista Ray unique is its combination of rigorous college prep curriculum and innovative work-study program exclusively for students from low-income backgrounds. This school is committed to its mission of preparing its students for college and for their future careers while inspiring them to use their gifts to serve other people. Krista Ray provides world-class opportunities for its students that wouldn't be possible without its committed supporters. Opportunities like working at law firms and banks and media companies. Opportunities like receiving a first-rate education in a nurturing environment for an affordable tuition and opportunities like attending and graduating from colleges like my alma mater, Tufts, and Jabril's Northeastern. The success of Cristo Ray and his students doesn't just magically happen. It happens because of the tireless work of its students, faculty, staff, corporate partners, and generous people like you, who stand behind the Cristo Ray New York mission and make all of these opportunities possible. If you would like to join that group, you're in luck. Giving is super easy. You can make a gift at any point this evening by clicking the donate button or by texting magic of CRNY, all one word, to 41444. Or you can take part in the site and auction. Bidding is open until tomorrow, February 26th at 5 p.m. We are now going to turn it over to Cristo Ray, New York's president, Dan Doherty who will share a little more about the magic that is happening at 106 in Park. Hello, everyone. Thank you to the advisory committee and to Bridget Quinn and her development team for working tirelessly to bring this evening together. Thank you to our board of trustees led by Chair Kyle Miller, Vice Chairs Mark DeWaley and Campbell Garish, and Chair-elect Bill Cody for their leadership and support. Thank you to our endorsing congregations, the Society of the Holy Child Jesus, the Jesuits, and the Lasallian Christian Brothers for their commitment to our mission. Thank you to our sponsors, and thanks to all of you for joining us tonight at the Magic of Cristo Rey. We come to you from the glamorous Cristo Rey New York locker room. You may be thinking, wow, they spared no expense. Well, this may not be Tavern on the Green, but the locker room reveals a truth about the magic of Cristo Rey. We tidied up for you, but normally these lockers are bursting with books, 
Coats are hanging off the open locker doors, and shoes are strewn across the floor. Occasionally, I wish the room looked neater, but I appreciate that the students feel at home. They can leave their lockers unlocked because they trust one another like siblings. Some are actually related, like the Mojica sisters from whom you will hear later. Others just feel like family because the culture of Cristo Rey joins them like a magician's linking metal rings. This close-knit culture is not pulled out of a hat. It is built moment by moment in the relationship between our motivated students and the devoted teachers who care for them. You may remember the adage, nobody cares how much you know until they know how much you care. Crystal Ray teachers know plenty, but the first thing they communicate to their students is concern for them as people, not just academic achievements and test scores. Sister Jude, our English department chair, is a great example. At the start of each year, she convinces the students of her belief in their ability to succeed and demonstrates that she will stay with them for the duration of the journey. Sister Jude gives students the confidence to attempt and complete increasingly challenging tasks, knowing that if they stumble, she will help them. In this supportive culture, students read sophisticated literature, think critically, and write persuasively. Sister Jude is a special person, but her love for students is not unique among teachers at Cristo Rey. We could point to any number of her colleagues as excellent teachers and models of compassion. Building trusting relationships in a classroom requires a full commitment from teachers and students under normal circumstances. Imagine how much more difficult it has been during the pandemic with online classes. Crystal Ray's teachers and students are meeting the challenge, connecting with one another through the glass of their computer screens and cherishing the times they meet in person. These moments are remarkable, even as they have become routine. Every day, students and teachers meet for hours on Zoom to master science and math and Spanish. They have intense discussions to understand the historical context for current events. Singers and music directors create online concerts that bring joy to the community, evoking appreciative comments typed into the chat box in response to the music the online equivalent of a standing ovation. Campus ministers and students gather online and in small physically distant groups to deepen their faith through prayer and reflection. An ambitious crew of teachers and students even go for a run or a walk in Central Park on cold Saturdays to exercise and sustain the community. Our students will all gain admission to four-year colleges and they will go on to earn their college degrees at five times the rates of their socioeconomic peers. But more importantly, because of the relationships they form with their teachers, Crystal Ray students are inspired to use their gifts to serve others, like the member of the class of 2021 who collects clothing for needy families in the Dominican Republic, or our current junior who aspires to live a life of purpose as a physician who improves public health like Dr. Fauci. For all their marvelous abilities, our students and teachers cannot reach their goals alone. They need us to contribute our part to the community. Please join me in making a gift tonight. With your support, our students and teachers will continue to make magic at Cristo Rey. Click the donate button on your screen to bid on your favorite auction items and to contribute to the scholarship fund. Thank you for your support of Cristo Rey. I am here with San Juan, and we're going to actually do a trick from this distance. So he's not going to pick a card. He ain't going to, all he's going to do is look at it. So that's it. We're going to keep it really simple. You're, all you have to do for me is say the word stop. We're keeping it really easy. Here we go. Ready? Say stop whenever you like. Stop. Awesome. Do you know what that card is? Yes. I'm going to show it to the camera, too. We're going to take it even a step further than that, though. I'm going to look at the card. Can you, um, can you give me an object, any object you want? OK. What object? Apple. OK, I got to draw an apple. This is, I'm a magician, not an artist. Yep, that's my apple. 
It's going to get exciting here. But I will write uh, Apple on it so you know that what it is. And um, I don't want to get this out of frame. I want you guys to see right here what's going to happen. Here. I don't even need the deck. Watch. Wait. Now, there's something missing. Yeah, a quarter of the court. <laughs> That's been there the whole time, right? Yeah. Can you take that envelope? Can you open it? You can rip it up, you can do whatever. Before you do it, can you show what's inside it? It's a piece of paper. Can you show the camera before? Just uh, bring that little. And uh, can you take out that piece of paper? Mm -hmm. And uh, you can take the envelope and throw the envelope down. We don't need the envelope anymore. But uh, can you uh, take out? Yeah, open it. open it up. Is there a? Wait. <laughs> can you uh, can you show the camera right here? Bring it a little closer, put it right on top. I think we got it. <laughs> yeah, just like San Juan, I think I'm gonna need a second to process that. <laughs> but in the meantime, Dan talked about something very important. And that was about the teachers at Crystal Ray New York and how much they care about their students. And it's true, they really, really care. Standing here tonight at my old high school, I'm reminded of all the teachers who guided me and who encouraged me, and most of all, who showed me that I could always be more and do more. Sister Jude was one of those teachers for me. In her classroom, I remember she had that sign that said, raise the bar. It's a simple phrase, but to me, it was super meaningful. Whenever our class finished up the big unit, or even if we just were acting a little discouraged, Sister Jude would point at the sign and remind us that our work was not done yet. She made us believe that we still had so much more potential and it was our time to keep on climbing. Seeing that sign, it always let me know that she and the other Crystal Ray teachers were in my corner and were here and would go to great lengths to help me succeed. Their unwavering support always motivated me to raise the bar. And it's a mantra that stays with me to this day. Now, admittedly, it has been a while since I've been a student at Krista Ray, so how about I turn it over to some current students who will share a little bit more about their teachers and how they have impacted them throughout this difficult year. Who are the magicians at Krista Ray? The magicians of Krista Ray are the teachers. The magicians of Crystal Ray are the teachers. The magicians of Krista Ray are the teachers. Magicians of Crystal Ray? The teachers, the teachers are like the David Blaine. For me, David Blaine. The real magicians of Crystal Ray are the teachers because of how encouraging and kind they are to their students. The teachers are so willing to work with us after school hours. They are the magicians because they were able to adapt to such a dire situation so quickly. They're able to teach online like we're here at school. They made learning more engaging. They bring joy to this new way of learning. They help you a lot academically and they support you in your time of like need. Whenever you're in like a proctor with them, they would either crack up jokes or they'll make, you know, give little advice. The real magicians of Crystal Ray are the teachers. They help you, they support you, and they guide you to make your dreams in the future come true. The real magicians of Crystal Ray are the teachers because they push us to reach greater heights. The real magicians at Crystal Ray are the teachers because they believe no student achievement is too small. The teachers are very relatable and they're always there for you. They are always happy. You can always go up to them and you can feel safe with them. My favorite teacher is Miss Costello. She just helps me do everything. My favorite teacher is Mr. Achichi. He, encourage, he always encourages us to do better. Mr. Shev is a really hardworking teacher. He gives a lot of opportunities and he's um, always supporting his students. I think Mr. McCoy is very um, 
understanding and he's like he has usually has a lot of energy while teaching. Mr. McQuarrie is positive and he's um, energetic. My favorite teacher is Sister Jude. She's always very nice and she encouraged me to always do better. I don't have a teacher that I don't like, but if I was to pick one in particular, Mr. Achicho. He gives his students tough love, but in the end, he, he knows what's best for us. Right now at home, you might be eating right now. So if you have a fork, examine it. Take a look at it before you put it back in your mouth, because we're going to try something. You know, you ever see the illusion it looks like this? Well, if you believe you can actually make something bend. You might just. Here, right here. Start to bend. Now, with that bent and that bent, let me bring it right back to normal. I'm going to do this as far as I can with my sleeves rolled up. Watch. That will twist. And with that twisted, with that bent, with my sleeves rolled up, you'll see them all bend. or right, to your, right through the screen here. Cristo Rey, New York is not your average high school for so many reasons. And we've heard about one of the biggest reasons tonight, the teachers. Another reason is the corporate work study program. Through this program, each student works one day a week at a corporate partner like Morgan and Stanley, Harper Collins, New York Life and, Comp and Voya. These companies pay Cristo Rey so students are earning a significant portion of the cost of their education making a college prep education affordable for students like me. The corporate work study program also prepares students for the real world. After I graduated from Cristo Rey, I went off to Northeastern University, which also has an internship component. Immediately, my resume stuck out from the pack. I had four years of experience at a major New York law firm, Sullivan and Cromwell. As a college freshman, I knew how to interact with superiors, how to receive constructive feedback, and above all, I knew what was waiting for me in corporate America. Many of our corporate partners go above and beyond with their support for Crystal Ray too. Beyond hiring students at companies, they mentor, sponsor fundraising events, and join groups like our advisory committee who spearheaded this event. They are a dedicated group of young professionals who all stand behind Cristo Rey, New York's mission. Now, let's hear from the advisory committee member, Maggie Ring. Thank you for joining us for the magic of Cristo Rey. I would like to start by expressing gratitude to my fellow advisory committee members for their work in putting this year's event together. The magic of Cristo Rey has been a Cristo Rey tradition for 14 years now growing from a small gathering of close friends to a packed event at Tavern on the Green, bringing together old and new friends, trustees, advisory committee members, faculty, staff, and alumni, all to raise money for the school scholarship fund. The scholarship fund enables Crystal Ray to fulfill its mission of providing a college prep education and exposure to the corporate world to students from low income families, an ever more important mission in today's world. Like everyone else this year, the advisory committee has faced its challenges. 
We haven't been able to hold many of our traditional volunteer events, and we had to shift our mentoring program to a virtual platform. But tonight, we have the opportunity to do something very powerful, raise scholarship dollars for motivated, talented students who truly deserve our support. Students whose families have been disproportionately affected by the pandemic. Students who, with our help, will go on to earn college degrees and change the world for the better. All you have to do to be a part of this magic is click the donate button on your screen. You might choose to repeat your gift from last year's event or even double it. Big or small, whatever your gift, thank you. Thank you, Krista Ray, for having me this year. In these hard times, you guys are still making this place magical. And that's all because of everybody here watching. So thank you. And don't forget to donate. No way. <laughs> Tonight is about magic in more, than, in more ways than one. Magic in the classroom, the workplace, and on your screens tonight. Mm. And it happens all because of you guys. Mm -hmm. Jabril and I support Krista Ray because Krista Ray changed our lives. It's where we met our best friends. It's where we found our voices and where we learned the power of good eye contact and properly knotting a tie. You can join us tonight by making a gift to the scholarship fund. Either click the donate button or text magic of C-R-N-Y, all one word, to 41444. Or maybe you're in the mood for some shopping. Check out the silent auction. There are some really cool items to bid on. A private chat with the commissioner of Major League Baseball, a weekend away in Portland, Maine, so many golf outings, liquor baskets, cooking lessons, and restaurant packages. To get in on the action, all you have to do is click the auction button, bid tonight for your favorite item, and keep your eye on the action. Mm -hmm. The auction closes at 5 p.m. tomorrow, so don't miss out. And now, we're excited to share one final video with you tonight that shows Krista Ray New York is all about family. I'm Emily Mojica, obviously. Um, I'm 20 years old. I graduated Krista Ray in 2018. I now go to Fordham University. My name is Eliana Mojica. I'm 16 years old. I'm a junior here at Krista Ray. I'm Esther Mojica. I am a senior here at Krista Ray, and I am part of the class of 2021. We come from the Dominican Republic, where we are an immigrant family. We're a family of seven. There's five kids. We're mainly girls. We have one baby brother. Poor kid. <laughs> and so my parents like really just instilled that, what does Bobby always say? To never grow complacent. Yeah. To, never grow, to never grow complacent, to always have like this hunger. And because of that, we're very ambitious. Once we got to Crystal mm -hmm. Ray, it became like a weekly thing <laughs> because we would be overwhelmed with like stress and things. And he would say, no, we have to keep going. Like, you can't grow complacent. There's so much more that we have to achieve, and Krista Ray does that for us. The attention given to every single student here, it's irreplaceable. You don't find that in a lot of schools. Krista Ray puts a lot of emphasis on their main principle of cura personalis, caring for the whole person. And I think that's what really brought me to Krista Ray and made me feel welcomed and accepted because they cared for me outside of the academics. They put you first. Yeah, they put me first. You go through challenges as a Krista Ray student, going to school four days a week and then having to go into the corporate setting one day a week, that's challenging in itself, having to pretend to be an adult when you're 14. You lose confidence sometimes, and these people have faith in you, and they become a family. This is what a heart attack feels like. I got into Barnard College. My sister's going to Barnard College, Columbia University. Yes! yes. We are so proud of Esther. We are her number one supporter. I think we cried more than her when the thing... No, that's not true. I cried a lot. Wow. <laughs> Girl, you 
No, we I was cried more too, than her. I was too happy to cry. And we screamed more than her. Well, we believed in her. I believed in Esther. We knew it was going to happen. Esther wants to succeed, but she cares that everybody else succeeds in the room. She's kind. <laughs> she, you are. Um, Don't cry. You are. <laughs> I'm not going to cry. <laughs> Eliana is bright. She is the light of our family. We are all very serious people, <laughs> and she makes us all light enough. She's the most balanced. If I were to describe Emily, it would probably be that she's a role model. Because that she went to Crystal Ray and we saw its effects on her, we, we follow after her. She's our leader. I knew that whatever school I decided to go to, they didn't really have a choice after that because <laughs> I, was setting, I was setting the standard, I was setting the stage. My biggest takeaway from Crystal Ray had definitely been my job. The relationships and networking that I've done there, it's, it has me set for life, to be honest. I don't think I would fit in anywhere else except for Crystal Ray. It's a whole community that's so accepting. It just makes you realize that this is the place where you belong. What sets Chris Array students apart from everybody else is like we all have this common attribute, and you see it. Like we have this hunger and this motivation. We're driven. Yeah, we're very driven. Like once we we come into Chris Array, it's all. It's time to work. It's time to work. What sets us apart is that we come out college ready. Emily has told us all the time <laughs> that if we can do Crystal Ray, we can do college. And you can do anything. Mm -hmm. Crystal Ray students, they know the adversities that they're facing. That's their fuel, and that's why Crystal Ray works. Because we have adversities, that's why we're pushing ourselves forward. And you see that in these kids. That's why the school is absolutely amazing. Just like Emily said, this school is amazing. And it's one big family, and that includes all of you guys at home. Crystal Ray is all about continuing to push forward and continuing to raise students up, no matter the circumstances. Thank you all who have joined us in this effort and have donated to the scholarship fund so that Crystal Ray students can and will keep pushing forward. While tonight's program may be coming to a close, the opportunity to give is not. Crystal Ray's giving page will remain open. So if you can't donate tonight, you can do so tomorrow and the next day. Just click the donate button or text magic of CRNY, again, all one word, to 41444. And once again, the silent auction will remain open until tomorrow, Friday the 26th at 5 p.m. Every dollar you give expands the opportunity for our students to develop their gifts to the fullest and make a lasting contribution to our world. With your support and their talent and drive, Crystal Ray students are unstoppable. From everyone at Crystal Ray New York, thank you and good night. <laughs>